How's it going? I'm Lox, and today I wanted to go over how to export your game in UPBGE 0.36.1. This is a topic that's not talked about as much as it probably should be, and over the years I've gotten a lot of comments asking about how to do it. There are quite a few steps that if you don't do right, you'll end up with either missing textures, glitchy code, and other problems that you might run into. So to start, let's go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, and type in Runtime. When you type this in, you'll get Import Export Save As Game Engine Runtime. And this is going to be how we export our game. Make sure to save your preferences and then close this window. Going to File, we can go to Export. And then in Export, we can go down to Save Game as Runtime. Now before you do this, I will show you a little example. If you were just to make your game and then export it without doing anything else, you will see that the entire thing is missing textures. And the reason is, is because the file was not packed. The way to fix this is to go to File, Go to external data and then pack resources. When you do this, you'll see that one file was packed. This will pack your sound files and your texture files. So if we go to file and then we'll go to export again, save as game runtime, then navigate to a folder, then add a new folder. I will call this test game and then open this file and save as game engine runtime. I would suggest to always make a folder before exporting so that you have an empty folder to export into. You will have a lot of DLL files and other files that will just go all over your desktop or wherever you export your game to. You can also set an icon path. So if you have a .ico file, you can select that here. That way your game has its own unique icon. For now, I'm just going to say save as game engine runtime, then minimize the project and go to the new file, test game. And inside of here, we have a tutorial game test. And when you play the game, you will see that your executable now has textures again. This is a very common mistake that a lot of new people to UPBGE will make. Another thing you'll notice is that the game has no shadows. This is because when you export the game, you want to make sure that you're in the render view. For example, I exported the game in the viewport shading tab, which means there are no shadows. If I were just to play the game in the runtime, the game just has no shadows. So make sure that your viewport shading mode is enabled. Click file, export, export as runtime, and we're just going to select our test game file again and save game as runtime. So when we open up our game again, you will see that we now have shadows. I would also suggest instead of just doing what I did and saving over your file to make a new folder and save into it. Otherwise you can also end up with errors. And with that said, that is going to be the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please think about leaving a like. If you'd like to see more content like this, I post every once in a while. So think about subscribing and I will see you in the next video.